Hello folks, thanks for tuning in again. And this week I'm on the Northumberland coast and I'm at a place just outside Amick. Um, and this week I'm going to be doing some coastal photography. And I'm going to investigate this area because I've not been here before. Um, I'm here for a couple of days. It's, it's about 5pm uh, on the late afternoon. And um, I'm just going to do a couple of shots into late evening and then uh, I'm going to be doing a, a sunrise tomorrow morning um, but I'm going to be scouting the area out this evening to see what uh, sunrise shot I can achieve tomorrow morning and where the sun's going to be laying um, as it rises tomorrow so I'm going to figure out a couple of compositions this evening and uh, I'm going to do some test shots and I'll run you through them um, but there's plenty of uh, compositions here it's absolutely wonderful absolutely beautiful and the uh, clouds in the sky at the minute are absolutely stunning so I'm going to get on with it and uh, I'll run you through my composition in a second and how I feel it works so yeah so I've got my uh, first composition I'm using these beautiful uh, swirly lines and set textures in this, uh, this foreground. Some beautiful little patterns in it, really beautiful. So I'll show you on the screen. And um, what I'm trying to do is waiting for the right wave to come in. Um, into this little pool area here. Just wait for this to come in like this. And then for it to rush back out, I'll take the shot and hopefully there'll be another wave coming in as well at the same time. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. So yeah, I'm using these, this beautiful textured rock area in the foreground here. It's absolutely stunning with the swervy little lines in and beautiful textures. Lovely different colours and tones in it as well. Uh, I'm using this pool at the side of my composition and then when it runs out, there's a little sort of meandering river that goes back out to the sea. But I'm hoping to get a, a breaker in the uh, mid-ground as I'm doing that. So it just takes time. I might have to take a, a couple of uh, shots to do it. Oh, probably about 15 to 20 shots to be fair. So yeah. Um, so settings wise, I'm at um, F16. I've got a six stop filter on it. No uh, graduated filter because the sky's just about right. Um, and it's given me an exposure time of about two seconds. So just about the right exposure to uh, get some movement in the waves here. So, all being well, we'll have a nice little shot here. I've got it in portrait, and I might do a couple in uh, landscape as well. So, once I've got one that uh, I love, I'll put it on the screen for you.
So I'm just uh, working this scene at the minute. I've just come up uh, from that last composition just to my left. And I'm still using this uh, texture and swirls in the foreground, but at a different angle now, because the sky on the horizon is just looking a little bit better this way. I'm still using this pool as uh, interest with the little stream that's running out into the sea again. So I'm taking multiple images all the time just to catch the one that I really like. Uh, similar sort of settings. I'm having to adjust the ISO to keep my shutter speed down to about 1.6 seconds. So I can keep the, um, the sea uh, with some movement in it. So yeah, I'm at ISO about 500 at the minute with this six stop filter on. So I'm just going to be shooting and shooting away until I get the right image that I like with the movement in the sea. So, I'm heading back to the van now. There's uh, <clears throat> two interesting compositions there. You get so involved in uh, photography. I do, anyway. And I don't move from one location for hours. <laughs> just work it and work it and work it and work it. But that's just the way I am. Uh, but I've got all day tomorrow to uh, have a look at other compositions. The compositions that I've taken tonight, I don't know if I'm going to be using them as sunrise tomorrow, for sunrise shots, sorry, tomorrow. I'm going to uh, mull it over this evening while I'm in the van. Weather forecast for tomorrow, not great and not bad. Just have to see how it goes. But I uh, really enjoyed this evening. I must have taken about 30, 30 shots, I think, altogether. And, uh, I'm not sure until I get home and put them on the computer screen. Know if I've got the uh, the breaking wave in the midground just perfect with the uh, the sea receding at the same time. I don't know. Sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. You just got to be really patient with them kinds of shots. Come on, Lottie. Let's wait for my dog. So yeah, I'm heading to the van now. I want to have something to eat and. Uh, Hopefully see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, folks. It's a lovely morning. There's a little bit of a bank of cloud on that horizon there. So hopefully we can get some decent uh, colour this morning. Um, it's about three quarters an hour before sunrise, and I've come back to the location where I was uh, yesterday evening. Um, I was going to shoot at the bathing house, but um, it's really slippy and it's a bit dangerous for the dog to go down. So I've decided to come back to my uh, uh, location where I was last night. I'm going to seek out probably some different compositions for uh, sunrise though. So yeah. Beautiful, it really is beautiful. The waves are really crashing in this morning though, they really are. I've just got to be a bit careful. I got soaked last night actually. Um, so I've come out in my, uh, my tracksuit bottoms this morning. <laughs> because my uh, trousers are still wet from last night. So yeah, I'm going to seek out some compositions and I'll be with you in a second. Right, so I've set up my composition. I'm about, I'd say, I'd say I'm about 20 yards from where I was yesterday evening. Um, I've got to be really careful at the minute because the 
waves are so powerful. Um, really, really powerful. I don't want to lose my camera. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm using these beautiful textures that sweep down into the sea on this rocky area here. Absolutely beautiful. And then on my right hand side of my competition, I've got a, sort of a, a cascade of rocks on my right and a, a bit of an outcrop on my right hand side of my composition as well. On my left hand side of my composition, I've got um, sort of a, a rocky island to keep your eye in on the left hand side. Um, and these beautiful waves that keep crashing in and going back out to the sea. I'm using that as well for interest. Using a shutter speed of about two seconds, I'm at f11. And my ISO is quite high up at the minute because I'm trying to keep the shutter speed down to 1.6 seconds to get some uh, movement in these waves again. So, uh, yeah, sunrise is not particularly brilliant, but there's a little bit of colour in the sky. So, uh, let's see what we can get. Eh? I'm going to be firing off a few shots like I did yesterday evening uh, just to see um, the different sort of textures that are allowed by the sea going in and out. So, fingers crossed. So that was uh, pretty entertaining, for me anyway. <laughs> Considering the weather forecast wasn't great, it turned out to be quite a, a lovely sunrise. I'm not sure if I've got the most epic shots in the world, but I think they're reasonable. They're quite reasonable, I think. Um, and. Uh, it's a shame about the bathing house, but I've got to consider the dog's uh, safety at the end of the day. The waves here are really, really, really high. And uh, there's some slippery, slippery rocks in that area. So I think it was the best to come back down to where my compositions were yesterday evening. Come on, girl. So uh, my plan now is to uh, have a bit of breakfast and then scout the area further down the coast there. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. It's a beautiful area, this, though, if you want to pop down with your camera. I mean, it's, it's so beautiful. I'm just lucky today that we've got decent weather. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, get some breakfast and then pop out a little bit later uh, this morning and probably head back home uh, late, late in the afternoon. So, hope you can stick around and uh, get some more compositions. miles from where I was this, this morning and um, I've come down to the beach because it's a beautiful beach this is, it's very clean, some beautiful rock formations and um, they're quite unique in the fact that they've got really odd shapes, they're tinged with green seaweed, really really bright green seaweed 
and uh, what I'm trying to do is produce a minimalistic type shot. So I'm using this um, sort of a L-shaped rock to lead your eye in. There's some uh, rocks out to the right hand side that keep you uh, from going out of the image on the right. Uh, I've got about a five second exposure on this one just to level out the sea a bit. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to this. I quite like it. So I'll uh, take a shot. Settings wise, I'm in aperture priority. I'm about uh, f11 and 20 mil. So see how this one turns out. Hi guys, just had a bit of an accident. <laughs> the uh, vlogging camera's just landed right into the uh, the sand and the sea. So I don't know how this next bit of footage is going to, if it's going to be clear or not. So I apologise if it's if it's not clear. So uh, yeah, unfortunate. Hi guys, I hope you can uh, hear me okay, and you can see me okay after uh, after that calamity. Right, my next composition, um, I'm using this. As you can see, I'm using this little river that's uh, coming in off the uh, off the side of the banks of this uh, beach here. It runs down the beach and meanders into the distance there, right into the sea. I've got this on the left hand side, I've got this rocky area, and then uh, I've got this lovely uh, edge to this sand here that works really, was working really well. Uh, I love that. And it's there's sort of an S shape to it as well. It meanders out into the sea there. I think this works, works really well, so I'm going to put a 15 second exposure on this, portrait format, and I'm about 35mm on my camera there. Uh, no neutral, uh, no uh, graduated filters, sky's in check, it's perfect. So yeah, this works really well. Let's see what you guys think when I pop it on the screen for you. Right guys, this is going to be my final composition of my Northumberland trip and I've come off the beach and um, I've come to photograph these beautiful marron grasses behind me here. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to use a six stop exposure with about 15 seconds, on about 15 seconds and then I'm just going to use a normal exposure to see how, uh, how they both compare. Um, with the longer exposure, the grasses are going to be a bit more blurry, but that might that effect might uh, work well in my favour. But I'm also going to take them uh, a normal exposure, about 500th of a second. Some are going to be really pinch out focused. Uh, they're not going to be moving around anywhere. Um, so I've got these marron grasses in my foreground, a bit of a beach in the midground, and then a rocky outcrop on my top third there, and obviously the sea. And this beautiful sky that we've got today. So yeah, I'll take my shot and I hope this one works out okay. Okay that's that's me done. I hope you enjoyed the last image and I hope that <laughs> This uh, vlogging camera's worked out in the end. Um, I can see in the lens there, it's, there's some moisture in it, so I have no idea if this is gonna work out or not. But um, if you stuck with me this far, I really appreciate it. Uh, smash a like and uh, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that too. Okay, until next time, I'll see you.